Hi everyone. So now we've seen an example of a valid argument and an invalid argument. So I just want to show you two more. Um, so I'll start by showing a valid argument again. If someone likes spinach, then they like a vegetable. I don't like vegetables, therefore I don't like spinach. So, um, let's symbolize this again. If someone likes spinach, then they like a vegetable. I don't like vegetables, therefore I don't like spinach. Um, so, um, if S, let's uh, draw a little condition. If S, then B. Let's uh, use our convention of uh, forward slash to separate the premises. Oops. Um, not V, then our convention of two forward slashes to indicate the conclusion, and not S. And so, again, let's use the truth tables. Um, true, true, false, false. True, false, true, false. Again, even though we have negations, essentially they're the same thing, we still have V's and we still have S's, and they're just uh, the propositions and the negation. So it's, we have um, uh, 2 to the L, in this case 2 to the 2, which is 4, and so we have 4 truth values in total. So right here, uh, right here we, we don't we get the opposite truth values because they're negated. Um, I actually made a mistake here. Uh, let me, this should be a negation, and uh, this should be a negation right here, and this should be a V, and then this should be a negation and it should be an S. Okay, there we go. So we'll copy our truth values again. So we see V first, so V is true, and it's false, and it's true, and it's false. Um, and then S is true, and then it's true, and then it's false, and then it's false. So um, remember, the negation is modifying the V, so the negation is a real truth value. So the real truth value is false, then true, then false, then true. Um, apparently this red thing was still in here. So let me uh, change that back to black. Um, so this is a real truth value, so I'm just gonna highlight this. And make it gray. And uh, again, this is the opposite truth value, so false, false, true, true. Okay, and again, I'm going to highlight this and I'm going to make it gray. Since this is a real truth value, what we're going to be looking for is true, true, false. Um, I haven't given the conditional its own truth value yet, so let me start um, by doing that. True, this, uh, this is true because this is true and this is true. And remember, the condition is true as long as this isn't true and this is false, which it is, and so it's false. Then false, whenever it's false on the antecedent, the left side, it's always going to be true. Let me uh, move this. Oops. Okay. And so this is um, the main truth value of the argument, so we'll make it gray. And remember again, what we're looking for is true, true, false. If it's true, true, false, then we have a contradiction. True, false, false, no contradiction. False, true, false, no contradiction. True, false, true, no contradiction. And true, 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 no contradiction. So this argument is valid. Okay, now uh, I'm going to show you one last example of an invalid argument. If someone likes coconuts, then they like a fruit. I don't like coconuts, therefore I don't like a fruit. Or, um, I don't know, this seems like a bit of a natural English, like I don't like any fruits or something. Um, that would be the conclusion that I indicate. Okay, so Let's see, so uh, we'll symbolize this C um, dash dash greater than sign close quote uh, and then if C then F coconut then fruit convention of forward slash separate premises um, if coconut then fruit someone doesn't like a coconut so not C and then uh, Double forward slash signs to indicate the conclusion, and then not F. 
So again, true, true, false, false, true, false, true, false. And the conditional sign is always going to have this form. So rather than explain it again, I'm just going to copy it over, which is true, false, true, true. Um, true, false, true, true. Conditional is always going to have this form um, when it's just two standard propositions and they're not negated. So um, if you get ne any negations, uh, just be wary. Uh, be sure to calculate everything on your own. I've already calculated it, and these two have the exact same form, which is why I'm just copying it over. Uh, but in general, I recommend that uh, you actually put in the work and do it um, so you don't make any mistakes. So I'll just copy again the C over. True, C is truth values. True, false, false. True values and negation. So false, false, true, true. And then again with F, I'll copy it over. True, false, true, false, and true values and negation. So true, uh, so false, true, false, true. And again, I'll just make these. Um, I'll make these a separate color other than gray. I'll make these blue again. So this is the true value of the whole thing. Negation takes priority truth value. So negation is the true value right here, and negation is the true value right here. Uh, one last time, we're looking for true premises which is everything pretty much before uh, the premises are everything before this double slash and the conclusion is everything uh, is the thing after it there's only one so we're looking for true true false so true false false no contradiction false false true no contradiction true true and false there's a contradiction um, again just to stress it I'll make it red true true and false and therefore we have a contradiction and the reason this is a contradiction is um, if someone doesn't like coconuts, if someone likes coconuts and they like a fruit, I cannot like coconuts, but I can still like other fruits. In fact, I hate coconuts. I hate coconuts, but I love oranges and I like watermelon and I like apples. And so just because I don't like coconuts doesn't mean that I don't like any fruits. So um, those are examples of valid and invalid arguments. In the next video, uh, I'm going to show you some ways to make um, doing uh, truth values and arguments a little bit easier.